Remember in the introduction when I talked to you about repentance? Three categories. General, specific sin, and salvation. You know what Lordship Salvation did? They took salvation, combined it with specific sin. That's why when you see passages in the Bible where they repent again over a specific sin, Paul Washer and those guys think that you have to get saved again. You see that? This is dangerous. So you notice how complicated repentance has become doing that. And here's another one. I even bet you there are still some specific sins you didn't surrender to God yet. I guarantee you that. Oh, no, not me. Oh, you want to bet? Okay, all right, let me ask you. Okay, fear is a sin, right? Okay, yeah, fear is a sin. Okay, let me ask you this, all right? Are you willing, did any of you yet, were you willing to go through the worst kind of torture and pain for Jesus Christ, sacrificing your family, your eyes, and be willing to go through excruciating pain for many years for Jesus Christ? Are you willing to do that for him? If you don't, if you're not willing, that's a sin. Yeah, that is a sin, because you are fearful to do that. You feared man more than God. And then Jesus says, fear not him that is able to destroy the body, but both body and soul and hell. You see that? So you see right here, this is a danger of lordship. Pick up your sword and stab him. That's when you stab him with the sword of the spirit. You got to realize, church, that we are in a battle. We are in a war. And when you stab that being, that enemy... You should never turn your back to him like a coward, even when that dragon is angry at you and he starts roaring out his fire on you again. You should never turn your back on your enemy because you have no armor on your back. You should still keep facing forward and charge him even when hell freezes over. You keep fighting. You keep fighting. We are in a war. We are in Satan's backyard, church. We are in Satan's backyard here in San Francisco Bay Area. And this is not a time to just go to work and then relax and do your everyday thing like an American. We've got to get involved in fighting against the gates of hell, do our part, contribute what we can to build up this church, to go out witnessing more, tell people, and spread by a believing truth. My last point, the fire must be suffered. The fire must be suffered. Look back at Revelation 2, please. Look back at Revelation 2, please. Let's close it right here with the last part of verse 13. It says right here, Even in those days where an Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. Notice that one of the things that you've got to realize in warfare is that there is suffering, there is scars, there is hurt. I know you're tired of fighting and this bad thing happened to you. I don't know what bad things you're going through, okay? And when you start to get involved in church stuff and serving God, you don't see God's blessings. Instead, you see more hard times, right? You see more hurt, right? You gotta realize this, church. Who says that when you start serving God and fighting for God, you don't get a scar? You don't get a bruise. It will hurt. Did you expect God to bless you immediately 